time. Um, we're going to begin here in a seated position today with our 45 minute beginner yoga. Um, throughout our class today, I'd like you to focus on paying attention to your breathing and how your body feels in each of the poses that we do. I'd like you to find a cushioned surface, whether you have a yoga mat or you're on a rug, um, either way, because we will be coming up and down from the floor. And preferably um, bare feet, unless you need to wear socks because your feet get cold, or shoes because you have orthopedics, and a glass of water nearby. So I'd like you to start by finding your comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like to you. So you might come with me for a lotus modification, cross-legged, here on the floor, or you can be sitting on your heels in hero's pose where I was, or you can extend the legs out fully anytime. Relax the shoulders down and back, sit up nice and tall, lengthen the neck and tuck the chin, and we're just going to start with a little grounding and centering exercise. Take a deep breath in all the way down to the base of the spine and close the eyes. And exhale completely, feeling the body resting on the mat, on the floor, on the earth. Now just for a moment, bringing your uh, attention to today's class, and I'd like you to first make yourself a promise that you will not push too hard, that you'll honor feelings of restriction through the joints and muscles and ligaments and tendons, and that we'll offer ourselves a bit of a challenge at the same time. And I'd also like you to set your intention for today's class. So what are you looking to feel here during the course of the class, and what are you looking to come out of it with? So a little bit more peacefulness, maybe a little bit more mindfulness, presence, stability, whatever you like. One more deep breath in. Exhale and let's open the eyes. Good, we'll start with just a nice gentle back release with a forward fold. So fingertips to the floor in front of you or to either side of the legs, inhale and extend. Exhale, tip from the hip and just relax down. Feel your lower back begin to stretch out and you can rock from side to side here if you'd like. And if possible, I'd like you to target that extension in the lower back. Good, and then you can begin to round forward further, maybe bringing that stretch into the upper back, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the neck and letting the head uh, drop down toward the floor. Make sure that you keep the hips down and you're nice and even on both sides of the body when you're not moving. As you inhale, think of widening the back, as you exhale, relax a little deeper. And as we go through our class today, just keep in mind too that you're welcome to release any pose or reduce your intensity any time. Good, and now we'll walk the hands back up and we're gonna bring the hands behind us. Fingertips and the thumb are on the floor, so we're making a little tent with those hands. Shoulders down and back away from the ears, lengthen through the crown of the head, squeeze the shoulders down and back and feel the stretch begin in the front of the shoulders. Now take a deep breath in, exhale and come down onto the palms if it's comfortable for you, tuck the elbows in toward the spine and drop the head back. Just relax here for a moment, we're not pushing too hard, we're just looking to begin the stretch through the upper part of the back between the shoulder blades and maybe also through the ribs and the fronts of the shoulders and the chest. One more deep breath in. Exhale and we'll walk the hands forward once again, relaxing down over the legs to counter stretch. Rock from side to side if you need to, to deepen that stretch as you relax down. As you inhale, think of widening the back. As you exhale, relax the neck and shoulders, let the arms and the head hang. And now let's walk the hands back up and we'll extend the legs fully for staff pose. You might already be here. And we're just gonna work the glutes out of the way so we're sitting nice and evenly across the sits bones. Now here we're looking for our perfect posture and we're still in our warm up phase. So even though this is a basic yoga class, we still wanna warm up our joints and muscles before we get into the more intense stretches. So what I'd like you to focus on here is postural correction. Suck your belly button toward the spine, relax your shoulders down and back. You can bring your fingertips to the floor if you find your chest is caving in and you're not able to support yourself here. Good. Lengthen the neck and tuck the chin and see if you can line up your ear over your shoulder, over your rib cage, over your hip. Press the backs of the knees into the floor. Flex the feet back toward you and just notice how this feels. We have lots happening. Now take a deep breath in. Exhale, tip from the hip and we'll just slowly walk the hands forward on either side of the legs. 
I'd like you to keep the toes pointed toward the ceiling and the feet flexed back toward the body. Press the backs of the knees down into the floor. As you begin the stretch, think about pressing forward through the center of your chest and lifting the tailbone toward the sky, and then you can relax down from the middle back up. Now just notice where you're holding tension in this pose. Your shoulders might be shrugging up toward the ears, and throughout our class, we want to make sure our shoulders are down and back. Our neck is long and relaxed. And always focus on where we're feeling the stretch and, uh, and gaining that extension rather than how deeply you're getting into the pose. So it doesn't matter how close you get to the legs here. What matters is that we feel that extension through the hamstrings and the calves. Now you can come with me and walk the hands over toward the right side. So we're adding a twist here. I want you to keep the hips nice and even across the floor and see if you can use the strength of your arms to deepen that stretch, pressing the shoulders down, tucking the elbows in toward the body, and now we should be feeling that stretch in the left side body. Good, breathe deeply, and relax wherever you're able. See if you can stay even across both sides of the body on the floor, as well as keep the feet flexed back towards you and the backs of the knees pressing down. Now let's walk the hands back through neutral and over toward the left side. Good. As you inhale, think of widening the back and expanding the rib cage. As you exhale, just relax a little deeper into the stretch. You can tuck your elbows in toward the body if you'd like. And remember, you can always reduce your intensity. We're just looking to modify and address the different areas of our muscle tissue. Good. And now let's walk the hands back to center and we'll walk back up. Bring the right foot to the inside of the left calf or thigh. We're coming into half staff now, sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders down and back away from the ears and the core is strong. Remember, fingertips can come to the floor for support anytime. Square your shoulders toward the extended leg. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tip from the hip and just slowly walk the hands forward. So again, just keep that left foot flexed back toward you if you're able and press the back of the knee down into the floor so that we can really target that stretch in the back of the left thigh. Lift your tailbone up toward the sky. And if you'd like more, crawl the right fingertips forward toward the instep of the left foot. And a few things to notice here, um, we always hold these stretches for at least three deep breaths or 20 seconds, as that's how long it takes for us to increase our flexibility. If you're holding your breath or tensing your muscles, you're working a little too hard. So focus on breathing deeply and maybe take it back a level or two. Good, and now let's walk the hands back up. And we're going to bring the left hand to the right knee, opposite hand to knee. Inhale the right arm up toward the sky, brace the core and lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale the left elbow in toward the body and we bend. Left shoulder drops down toward that left thigh. And we're not going very far. And I'd also like you to think about bending from the belly button to the crown of the head and keeping your lower back straight and strong. So suck your belly button toward the spine. Find the length of your spine before you bend. So make sure your chest doesn't cave in. We're not contracting down here. You can look up toward the sky if it's okay for your neck and shoulders. Otherwise, look toward the floor. Good, and now let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release the hands back behind you. We'll rock back and switch legs. Good, so again, sitting up nice and tall, finding our postural correction first, squaring our shoulders toward the extended leg, core is strong, shoulders down, and remember, you can change that left leg position, and you can even aim that left knee toward the sky, if this is uh, uncomfortable for your joints in any way. Good, take a deep breath in, exhale, and tip from the hip, just slowly walking the hands forward on either side of that right leg. Press the back of the knee down into the floor, Flex the foot back toward you. Lift your tailbone toward the sky. And then you can relax down from the belly button to the crown of the head. You can crawl the left fingertips forward more to stretch out the back. Breathe deeply. Good, and now let's walk the hands back up. Sit up tall and we'll bring the right hand to the left knee and opposite hand to knee. Inhale, left arm up toward the sky. Look up, shoulders down. Exhale and bend from the belly button to the crown of the head. Right shoulder drops down toward the right thigh. See if you can stack the shoulders one on top of the other over that right thigh. 
And we're feeling that stretch in the left side body through the rib cage and the obliques. Your top hand can come down to the hip or behind the back anytime. Of course, you can release all or part of this pose anytime. Now let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release the hand back behind you. Rock back and extend both legs straight out. We're going to come into one last staff to reset. Sitting up nice and tall. You can come into the standard staff with forward fold or come with me for the seated yoga mudra. Bringing the hands behind you, clasping them together, pressing the knuckles down toward the floor again, sucking the belly button toward the spine and lengthening. Good. Press everything down toward the floor. I want you to feel the stretch begin in the fronts of the shoulders and the biceps. Now inhale, lift the arms up and away from the body. Exhale and tip forward. Relaxing down over the legs. Breathing deeply. Press the backs of the knees into the floor. Remember that you can release the arms anytime. Now let's inhale and look forward to come up with a straight spine. Bend the elbows to release the arms in front. Curve around the upper back. Lengthen out. Good, really good. Now we're going to come into our hero's pose. So sitting back onto the heels. And you can grab a drink of water anytime you need one. And of course, um, if you feel kinks, you can feel free to work anything out that you need to throughout class. Um, and if you're feeling at a given time that you need a different stretch from what I'm doing here, then of course you're welcome to do that as well. So um, let's first just come forward into a child's pose. The elbows can come under the shoulders or you can reach the arms out all the way. And we're just gonna relax down toward the floor here. Breathe deeply. You can reach the fingertips out all the way with the palms facing down and gently press the underarms toward the floor to open up the rotator cuff. Be careful of your shoulder joint if you choose that modification. Or you can relax the arms and turn the palms toward the sky and then press the elbows into the floor, gently drawing the arms back toward you to target the rhomboids back between the shoulder blades. Breathe deeply. Good, and now let's come on up. And um, just keeping in mind that we are here in hero's pose. If this is not okay for your knees and hips, you can extend the legs straight at any time, okay? So now we're just gonna lean back and bring the fingertips to the floor, shoulders down and back away from the ears. And I'd like you to press the hips up and forward just a little bit and feel the stretch begin in the quadriceps. Now if it's comfortable for you, come down onto the palms of the hands. Shoulders down and back. And I want you to lift the hips just a little bit and see if you can really target that stretch. So we're not looking for a big arch in our lower back. We're engaging the core and the glutes and just lifting those hips a teeny tiny little bit. Shoulders wide. Breathe. Now relax the lower body. Hips are placed down on the heels. And we're going to inhale that left arm up toward the sky. Exhale, bend the right elbow in toward the spine. Look up toward the sky if it's okay for your neck and shoulders. Otherwise, you can look toward the floor. And our weight is even across both sides of the body on the floor. Remember, you can do this in staff pose with the legs extended fully. Check your bottom shoulder is down as far as it'll go away from the ear. And you're even across, across both sides of the body on the floor. Now let's inhale and reach up. Exhale the left hand to the floor. Inhale and reach the right arm up toward the sky. Lengthen first. And then exhale the left elbow bends in toward the spine. I'd like you to feel that stretch through the right side body, through the rib cage and the obliques. Check the shoulders are down as far as they'll go. You can look up or down. You can release that top hand to the hip or the floor or behind the back anytime. Good. Now let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release both hands back behind you. And you can hold here. You can lift the hips slightly or release the pose. Or you can come all the way down onto the elbows. Bring the fingertips in toward the heels and the toes. So this is a, a, an intermediate to advanced modification. You can lay all the way down. You can relax the neck. It's wherever you want to be. And now we're going to walk forward and sit down into child's pose. So that's a very deep lower back bend that we just did there. A lot of twisting as well. So I want you to rock from side to side. Reset your hips and spine. Notice how that feels now if you feel any weakness in the lower back. We're going to notice that later on. Good. Great job, guys. And now we're going to come up into a table pose. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. So first we're finding our alignment and I'd like you to spread the fingers wide on the mat. If that's not okay for your wrists, you can always come up into a fist. 
Good, shoulders are down and back, away from the ears, and we'll start with our cat dog. Inhale, drop the belly button, lift the chest and crown of the head, look up. Exhale, press the floor away, curve around. Inhale, look up, lift up, shoulders down. Exhale, press away, curve and round. One more time, inhale, up, lift, look up, extending. Exhale, press away, curve and round. And come back to neutral. Now we'll curl the toes under and lift the hips toward the sky for downward dog. Press the heels gently toward the floor one at a time. Or roll around on the balls of the feet. Breathe deeply. Relax the shoulders down. Good. You can also inhale and press the floor away from you with your hands. And then as you exhale, press the body more toward the legs. That'll be more of a target for the upper body. Make sure your shoulders feel strong in this position. And remember that you can bring the knees to the floor anytime. Good. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Knees to floor. Sit back. Child's pose. Just take a little break here. Again, you can rock from side to side across the hips if you'd like. Good, and now we're gonna come into a dolphin modification. So inhaling forward onto the elbows, preferably with the forearms and hands in line with the shoulders and elbows. Curl the toes under, take a deep breath in, exhale and lift the hips up toward the sky. You might stop here or you might straighten the legs out all the way and press the body toward the thighs. Spread the fingers. Breathe deeply. So this is a much deeper stretch for the calves and Achilles tendons, and also a much, much bigger opener for the shoulders. Good, one more deep breath in. Exhale, knees to floor, sit back, child's pose. Hold here for a moment, I figure out our music. Nice deep breaths. Relax down as you exhale. Good, just finding that quiet space. And in the child's pose, again, it's always modification of your choice. So you can uh, reach the arms straight out in front. You can turn the palms toward the sky and draw the elbows back if you'd like. Good. Just breathe deeply, whatever it is you're doing. And now we'll inhale back into table pose. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Curl the toes under. Lift the hips toward the sky for downward dog. Press those heels down once again. And just allow this inversion to do its job of getting more oxygen to your brain, of waking up your muscles. Good. Now let's walk the hands back toward the feet and forward fold just for a moment. Relax the arms and neck. You can grasp the elbows and swing from side to side if you'd like. And now we'll bend the knees and gently roll up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders down and back. Reach the arms out to the sides and overhead. A little baby back bend. And release down through prayer. And release the arms. Excellent. So now's a good time to grab a drink of water. We're just going to find our feet and come into a little bit of balance. My goodness, time flies. So I'd like you to rock back and forth across the balls of the feet and the heels. Um, just be mindful that if you're on a cushion surface, balance is going to be a little bit more challenging. So it's up to you what you want to do here. Um, and we're going to find our focal point, anything that's not moving six feet away from you or less to fix your gaze upon. And we're going to inhale, arms out to the sides and overhead, and come up onto the toes. Good. I'd like you to really focus. Focus is everything, not just in yoga, but in life also. So I just want you to really pay attention to how your body feels here, to your breathing. Spread the toes, grip the mat. Good, smile if you can. One more deep breath in. Exhale, down onto the heels and we'll fold forward, relaxing down over the legs. Good, now we're gonna come into some chair variations. Inhale, bend the knees and reach the arms straight out in front in line with the shoulders. Shoulders down away from the ears and you can change your arm positioning anytime, okay? So this is all up to you. Now we're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale and lift the right heel. Inhale, right heel down. Try not to move anything else. Exhale, lift the left heel. Feel your glutes engage. Inhale, right heel down. Left heel down. Exhale, right heel up. Doesn't matter what side you're on. Inhale, right heel down. Exhale, left heel up. 
Good, now inhale both heels down, reach the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, fold forward, relax down over the legs. Give your legs a rest, breathe deeply. Good, now inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms straight out in front, or they can come up and align with your ears if you're feeling that movement a little bit more. Now take a deep breath in, exhale, lift both heels up off the floor. Just hold here for a moment. Make sure that your knees, hips, and ankles stay in a straight plane. If they buckle in too much and you can't help it, bring the heels down or change your foot positioning. Now inhale, reach the arms up toward the sky. Sink down lower if you can. Exhale, push into the balls of the feet. Reach up, extend, lengthen. Exhale, down onto the heels and fold forward. If you feel dizzy or nauseated when you fold forward, raise the head above the heart line. Otherwise, just hang out. Good. Now we'll bend the knees and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders down and back. Arms out to the sides and overhead. Look up. Baby back bend. Release down through prayer. And release the arms. Okay. So we're going to come into just one single leg balancing pose here. A single, single leg balancing pose. And uh, of course, grab water anytime you need it. Um, so this is going to be our eagle pose. It's an intermediate advanced pose. So I'm going to offer you the option of doing only upper body, only lower body, or the combination of both. So standing nice and tall, we're just going to start with the lower body positioning, and then we're going to take a look at the upper body because it's a little bit easier. Standing tall, finding the soles of your feet, arms are anywhere that's comfortable for you, and we're going to shift to the left leg, bend the left knee, cross the right leg over the left leg. Now here's where you have lots of options. You can bring that right toe just to the floor and focus only on your single leg balance. You can cross it over to make that a little bit more intense or you can wrap it all the way around the calf and sink right down into the hips. Find your focus, relax your upper body as much as you're able. One more deep breath in, exhale, we're gonna stand up, release the leg and work out the ankles. So just for a moment on each side first, and then we'll take a look at upper body. So now standing nice and tall. Again, shoulders are down and back and relaxed, and we feel the core and the glutes engaged. Shifting to the right side, bend that knee, bring that left foot into position. You might notice that it's a different position from the other side, and that's all right. Wrapping it around, and here your hands can come into prayer. They can be on the hips or behind the back. And we're sinking down into the hips, finding that good solid lock position with the lower body. Good, one more deep breath in. Now we'll stand up, release the leg. So remember, first and foremost, single leg balance is what we're looking for. If that's all you wanna work on, that's fine. And then beyond that, we're gonna lock into the joints. So now the upper body, find the soles of your feet, reach the arms out, cross the right arm over the left, see if you can get the elbows to tuck into one another. And then we'll bend the elbows, this might be as far as you go. Or even here, you might just want to line the back and the, and the palm of uh, the hands up. Or you can wrap around with the back of one hand to the palm of the other. Or you can wrap around and twist, bringing the palms of the hands together. Now this is a great deep shoulder and upper body stretch. It's also a twist for our rotator cuff, so I want you to not push too hard. We're breathing deeply. Good, press the elbows down. And feel the soles of your feet on the floor at the same time. So we're maintaining a good posture. We're not letting the chest cave in. One more deep breath in. Exhale, we'll release the arms out to the sides. Unlock the shoulders, widen them out. And now we'll come to the other side. So reaching the arms out in front. This time the left arm is on top. Bend the elbows. And again, it's whatever modification is comfortable for you. Okay. And then we're gently pressing those elbows down. So there's lots of different reasons that we may or may not be able to get into a pose. Something like this, we're incorporating shoulders, shoulder blades, lots of muscles, everything in the upper body, elbows, wrists, all of that. So don't get discouraged if you don't get as far on one side as the other, and don't push too hard to get there. Press the elbows down as you exhale. Good, and then we'll release the arms. Reach out, breathe in deep and extend. And release, okay, now let's put them all together. We're going to stand nice and tall, find the soles of our feet. Let's find that focus. I want you to focus your gaze. It's a little bit more challenging here because your hands might be right in front of your face, so you might want to find one just off to the side. Shift to the left leg. We're going to start by crossing that right leg over the left, and then extending out, 
and crossing the left arm over the right. So opposite arm to leg is on top. And then we find our focus and we sink down, pressing the elbows and hips toward the floor. So remember, you might release the twist in the upper body or the lower body. Breathe deep. Exhale, sink a little deeper if you can. One more deep breath in. Exhale, we'll come on up, release the arms, reach out to the sides, work out the ankles, and shake it out. Excellent job, guys. Okay, now coming to the other side, standing nice and tall, finding the soles of our feet, shifting to the right side now, reaching out, left leg comes over the right, right arm comes over the left, and we bend and twist or not, find our focus, find our balance. So remember guys, when you fix your eyes on that unmoving point, that can do a lot to help you stabilize. As you inhale, think of expanding the back and lengthening the spine. As you exhale, sink a little deeper if you're able. Remember, you can release all or part of this pose anytime. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release the arms, release the legs, work out the ankles, and reach out wide. Now up toward the sky, and we'll fold forward and relax down. Good. Remember, if this makes you feel dizzy or nauseated, raise the head above the heart line, and that might change as class goes on. You might have been fine at the beginning and not so much once your heart rate has increased. Good. And now we'll bend the knees, rolling up one vertebrae at a time, shoulders down and back, arms come out to the sides and overhead, baby back bend, core is strong. And we'll release down through prayer and release the arms. Let's now come to the back of our mat and we're going to come down through our pigeon pose. Good, so finding the soles of our feet, rocking back and forth and settling in the center. Knees are soft, tailbone tucked, core strong, shoulders down and back, neck long, chin tucked, we feel nice and tall and open here. Inhale, arms out to the sides and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. And we're gonna walk out into down dog. Gently press the heels toward the floor one at a time or roll around on the balls of the feet. And again, we're just relaxing down into that last inversion. Now center the left foot between the hips on the floor. Extend the right leg up toward the sky. Now in three-legged dog, I'd like you to make sure that you're even across your three points of contact on the floor, your hands and the back foot. Shoulders are down as far as they'll go away from the ears. And remember that your bottom knee or both knees can come down to the floor anytime. Breathe deeply. Gently press that back heel down toward the floor. Feel the extension through the back leg. Now inhale the right leg forward. Shin comes up across the front of the body and the knee comes up between the hands. Remember too that if you can't do that in one smooth movement, that's okay. You can drop down into table pose, slide the right leg forward and the left leg back, and then angle the front shin as long as that's okay for your knee. Good. So there are always options available. I want you guys to keep that in mind. You should feel successful at the end of each class, like you got a good stretch with no pain in your joints and muscles. Now here, you can rock from side to side if you'd like, just loosening out those muscles. We're feeling this the most in that hip and thigh, usually. Breathing deeply. And then when you're ready, you can relax all the way down. Bring the elbows down under the shoulders or extending the arms out all the way. Now when you extend out fully, just keep in mind that you're letting your body weight contribute to your stretch through the knee and the hip. So, um, we are always stretching joints as well as muscle tissue and connective tissue too. So just be mindful, never moving too far, too fast, and always breathing deeply. Good. And now let's inhale, hands under shoulders, curl the back toe under, lift the hips toward the sky, step back, down dog. Press the heels toward the floor one at a time, or roll around on the balls of the feet. Just find that stretch wherever you need it. And then we'll center the right leg between the hips, extend the left leg up toward the sky. And once again, as you inhale, think of extending the arms. As you exhale, press the body more toward the leg. And remember, both feet can be on the floor. Your knees can come to the floor anytime. 
It's all yours. One more deep breath in. Exhale, left leg forward or knee to the floor and you can slide into your pigeon pose. And we're pressing back into that back leg. So in pigeon pose, um, traditionally you're looking to get the hips all the way down to the floor. That's never going to happen for me and I've done yoga for most of my life, so don't expect that to happen. Don't try and force it to happen. What we're looking for is just the stretch in that hip and the outside of that thigh. You might also feel on the inside of the thigh. And as you relax down toward the floor, maybe up into the back, breathing deeply. When you come down, you can rest the forehead on the fists or on the forearms if you'd like. And remember to prioritize that front knee. So if you start to feel pain in that knee, adjust your stretch. Good. Relax down as much as you're able. Yeah, good. Now let's inhale, hands under shoulders and press up, curl the back toe under, lift the hip towards the spine and step back into down dog. Again, check your shoulders are down and feeling strong. Remember that you can release in a child's pose anytime. This has been a lot of upper body. So just notice if your shoulders are feeling it a bit too much. One more deep breath in. Exhale, knees to floor, child's pose. Sit back, relax down. Good, now let's press up and turn around. We're going to sit down on our mat and come down onto our back. Bring the knees into the chest and we'll just roll them around in a circle one way and then the other, massaging out the muscles of the lower back. I just want you to notice how it feels to start relaxing down into the floor here, breathing deeply. Good. Now let's come into a modified figure four. So I'd like you to start by bringing the soles of the feet down to the floor and the heels close to the body. So if you can just barely touch your heels, that's fine. They can be further away from you than that, but not closer. And we're gonna cross the right shin over the left thigh. Now I'd like everyone to begin here grasping that right shin just below the knee and above the ankle. And we're gonna draw the leg in, tucking the elbows in toward the belly, keeping the shoulders and the neck relaxed down toward the floor. I'd like you to arch your lower back, pressing the tailbone down into the floor and feel the stretch begin in that glute knee. Good. So now you can stay here or if you'd like, you can come with me, looping the right hand through the legs, grasping the outside of the left thigh. If you come here, make sure you can still relax your upper body down onto the floor. So we don't want to have to hunch and clench our upper body muscles in order to stay here. Now from here, you have lots of options to intensify if you'd like. You can extend that left leg up toward the sky, press the tailbone down into the floor, and you can also press the right knee out to the side with the right elbow. You can rock from side to side if you want to, addressing the different heads of the muscle tissue on that right hip. And check too that you're contracting the muscles of the back and the backs of the arms, not the neck and shoulders. One more deep breath in. Exhale and release the legs, release the arms, full body stretch to reset. And we'll bring it back to center and come to the other side. So again, we start with the soles of the feet on the floor. We feel our spinal alignment. Left shin comes across the right thigh and we grasp that leg with both hands. So we all start here so that we can really detect um, the flexibility of our knee and hip, as well as come into proper form with our elbows in, shoulders down, and our tailbone pressing down into the floor. Good. And then when you're ready, if you'd like, you can loop the left hand through the legs, grasping the outside of the right thigh. Whew. Relax down first. Make sure you can rest your upper body on the floor, and then you can extend that right leg toward the sky. You can rock from side to side. You can press the left knee out with that left elbow. Good. Press your tailbone down into the floor. It's going to tend to pop up and you'll round the lower spine to try and get deeper into this stretch. So just make sure that's not happening. One more deep breath in. Exhale and we'll release the leg. Excellent. Oh good. We have time for one or two more. So once again, let's just bring the knees into the chest and roll them around. And we're going to come into our knee down twist to finish off. So I'd like you to reach the arms out to the sides in a T-shape to the body. 
Palms can face up or down, and the legs are going to stay where they are for now, with the knees bent. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and drop the knees to the left side, looking out over the right fingertips. Now, your knees don't have to reach the floor. They can hover for now. I'd like you to make sure that your shoulders are pressed down into the floor. They don't lift off. If you'd like to deepen your stretch, you can gently press down on the top knee. You can extend the top leg, flexing the foot back towards you, grasping the toe, the calf, the thigh, whatever's comfortable. And I want you to find this stretch and twist um, in your middle and upper back and through that right hip and thigh. Look out in the opposite direction of your knees and you can adjust your arm positioning to release some pressure on the spine anytime. And of course, you can release the twist altogether as well. As you inhale, think of expanding the ribs. As you exhale, notice where you can relax. One more deep breath in. Exhale, the knees back to neutral. Hug the knees into the chest and the forehead toward the knees. And then again, we'll release the upper body to the floor. Leave the legs where they are. Reach the arms out to the sides. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knees to the right side, looking out over the left fingertips. Good, so as we come into this position, you're just adjusting as you go to find your comfort zone here. Remember that, that those knees can hover for now, so if you want to place a cushion or a book or a block underneath that bottom knee, or even just your fist, you're more than welcome to. Reach for the side walls. Feel that extension, especially through the rib cage and side body on that top side. And now if you'd like to deepen the extension, you can gently press down on the top knee. You can extend that top leg out, grasping the foot, the calf, or the thigh. And uh, if you do choose to extend, just again, be mindful of your lower back. Good. Nice deep breaths. One more deep breath in. Exhale the knees back to neutral, and we'll hug them into the chest. Knees toward the chest, forehead toward the knees, and let's finish off with a couple of full body stretches. Inhale, extend out through the fingertips and toes. Breathe in deep, take up lots of space. Exhale, bring everything in. Knees to chest, forehead to knees. And again, breathe in deep, reach out, expand, smile. Exhale, bring everything in. One more time, inhale, reach out, lengthen to the corners of the room. Exhale, bring it in. And we'll release the body to the floor for Shavasana. So I'll ask you to find socks or blankets or sweaters or whatever you need to be warm and comfortable. Now that, we'll, uh, no, now that we're no longer moving, we will cool off fairly quickly. And I'm going to walk you through just a basic relaxation here and uh, ask you to just practice quieting the mind. And what that means is that um, when we find ourselves getting lost in thought, which we will, uh, we're just going to very gently notice and then bring our attention back to the breathing or to the music or whatever you like. So I'd like you to begin by finding your comfortable seated or laying down position. Traditional Shavasana would be done lying on the back with the arms at the sides or crossed over the body. And we'll start by taking a deep breath in all the way down to the tips of the toes and closing the eyes and exhaling completely feeling the body relax down into the mat into the floor good now just for a moment bringing your attention to today's class i'd like you to give yourself a mental pat on the back for making it here for making it through and especially for maintaining those lines of communication with your body and doing something good for yourself and the world around you. Good. Now we'll begin to relax from the bottom up. Breathe in down to the balls of the feet, the arches, heels and ankles, stirring up tension. Exhale it out, pressing it out of the body consciously. Breathe through the calves, the shins, the knee joints and thighs. Exhale, tension all the way down to the bones. Breathe through the hips, pelvis, buttocks, and lower spine. Exhale, tension. Feel them sink down into the mat, into the earth. 
Breathe through the muscles of the lower back, side body and abdomen. Exhale and relax the internal organs, blood vessels, bones. Breathe through the middle and upper back, through the rib cage and solar plexus. Exhale, tension. Envision the heart and lungs relaxing, slowing down. Breathe through the collarbone, shoulders, biceps, and elbows. Exhale, tension, allowing the arms to relax at the sides. Breathe through the forearms, wrists, palms, and backs of the hands. As you exhale, feel the fingertips let go of tension. Relax the muscles of the neck through the top of the spine and the base of the skull. Relax the throat. Relax the jaw. Relax the muscles of the face, around the eyes, mouth and ears. Relax the brow. And then release the breath, breathing naturally as you sink deeper into relaxation. Now slowly bring the attention back to the breath. Take a deep breath in. And exhale completely. Now remaining here for a moment, I'd like you to bring your attention back to your intention for this class that we set here at the beginning. And if you don't remember, if you didn't set one, you can set one now, your intention for the day, for the week, and for however long. Could be a sense of inner peace, a little bit more relaxation, maybe just smiling more often. Now let's bring the attention back to the lines of the body, wiggling the fingers and toes, moving, moving the wrists and ankles around in circles, and then when you're ready, bring the knees into the chest. Now taking your time and keeping the eyes closed, roll over onto your right side and find your way to a comfortable seated position. And let's take a deep breath in. Exhale and open the eyes. Namaste. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the day. It's beautiful outside. I hope you get to enjoy it. And we will see you next time.